Yep, it's about time I did one of these. Hey everyone, it's 2007 here, and welcome to my Sonic Plus Collection video as of January 14th, 2024. In this video, I'm going to be showing off all of my Sonic plushies. So, I'm going to start off with Sonic. I'm going to start off with my very first Sonic plush, which is this old Jazzwares 2011 Sonic plushie that I used in some of my early videos which were the four, first four episodes of Sonic Plus Ventures. It's all beat up and stuff. So the next plushie, and it's, it's in chronological order, and it, which I've used in my videos, we have this bigger uh, Jazzwares Sonic that I've used in Sonic Plus Ventures from episode five all the way to episode 80. You might notice in episode 82, I switched plushies. This is a, a ja another Jazzwares Sonic. It's a 12 inch. Slightly bigger. This next plushie isn't really related to Sonic Plush Ventures in any way, but here is a Tomy Boom Sonic. This is from the Sonic Boom TV series. So that's pretty cool. So we have Boom Sonic. And next up is Classic Sonic. His first appearance was technically episode 12 and a short appearance, but his first official appearance was in episode 18 of Sonic Plus Ventures, my plus series. Uh, put him next to Boom Sonic. And then the next one, which is which recently made its debut, was this Great Eastern Entertainment Sonic, this 14 inch uh, plushie. I think this is to resemble some of his 2D uh, renders. So pretty cool. See the string still on him. And then the next one, I'm gonna have to uh, put on the bed here because it's slightly larger than the rest and for the last sonic plush i'll be showing off is this huge sonic pillow plushie that i used in random immediate shorts as the ghost of christmas present and also him chatting with mario and then getting owned and yeah it's pretty cool so that's all the sonics that i have now we shall move on to tails all right, starting off with Tails is this Jazzwares 12-inch uh, Tails plushie. Uh, I originally had a smaller version of this, but I've since then lost that a long time ago on an outing, so that was quite unfortunate. So the next one I'm we'll taking a look at is my very first Tails plushie, which was this classic Tails plushie. You see it's all beat up. I use this in Sonic Plush Ventures as well along with classic sonic or over there so next to here and then next up is this sonic boom tails this is from the sonic boom tv series as you can see he has some like flight goggles on and some wrist thing looks pretty nice uh it's a tomi uh release so put him right here and the last one i have as far as i'm concerned is this Great Eastern Entertainment uh, 10 inch Tails plushie. Uh, you saw this plushie make its debut in episode 82 of Sonic Force Ventures. So, put Tails right here. So that's all the Tails plushies I have. It's not as much as Sonic over here and all that. So we're gonna move on to Knuckles. All right, so moving on to my Knuckles plushies. It's not much, but so, here is a, I think a Jazzwares classic Knuckles plushie that I've used in Sonic Plus Ventures, I guess from the first episode all the way to episode 80. He's all beaten and battered. Uh, ST22 still uses these plushies. So we're gonna put the this one right here. And the last Knuckles plushie I have, I only have two of them, is a Great Eastern Entertainment classic Knuckles plushie. This is the only Knuckles plushie I could find. Uh, for the time being, there is a modern Knuckles plushie. The only difference is uh, the eye color is purple. But this this is the only one I could find for now. I'll try to get a modern Knuckles plushie if I can. But in the meantime, classic Knuckles will have to do. Yeah, so place them right here. Not much for Knuckles, uh, rather than Tails and Sonic. So let's move on to Amy. 
Now, the same as Knuckles, I only have two Amy Rose plushies, so we're gonna start with this one. It's all filthy and stuff. Uh, I can't remember what type of Amy Rose plushie this is, but we used her, I think, uh, episode five all the way to episode 17. And yeah, pretty filthy looking plushie has been used a lot. And the last one I have is obviously the Great Eastern Entertainment Amy Rose plushie. This is a smaller uh, version of it, but this is the one we used in Song Plush Ventures. Still has the tag and everything. Shows you what date it was manufactured. May of 2021. And we got this uh, in 2022, which it debuted in episode 30. So that's all the Amy Rose plushies. Now to the other characters. Okay, next up are my Shadow the Hedgehog plushies. Again, I only have two of them. Same as Knuckles and Amy. But we're going to start off with this, I think. It's a either a Tomy or a Jazzwares Shadow the Hedgehog plushie. I got this, uh, I think, 10 years back. I don't know. It's been a long time. I found this in a CVS. <laughs> so, we'll play Shadow right here. And then... I have another Shadow plushie, which was in my Christmas vlogs, and it's planning to debut in a future Sonic Plush Adventures episode. And it is a Great Eastern Entertainment Shadow the Hedgehog plushie. This is a newer release. As you can see, there is some sort, some discoloration on the plushie as well as uh, some other things, but it still looks okay for a plush video. So the ultimate life form has arrived. So, now we shall move on to some plushies only have one of. So, let's get to that. Now, moving on to plushies only have one of. Uh, just single plushies, not multiple. So, anyways, moving on, we have a Tomy Silver the Hedgehog plushie. I am planning to get the Great Eastern Entertainment plushie of him. So, it fits my hand well. I think my hand's getting a little too small for these 7-inch plushies. So that's silver. We're going to place him next to Shadow. Moving on, we have Rouge the Bat. Uh, you know, the one who likes to uh, steal emeralds and whatnot. Or actually gems. And whatnot. And this is a great Eastern Entertainment uh, release of her. Looks pretty nice. Place her next to Silver. Next up, we have... Blaze the Cat, and this is another single hair dryer I have. She made her debut in episode 17 of my Sonic Plus series, along with Rouge. This is a Great Eastern Entertainment release of her. So, place her next to Rouge. And moving on, we have my only Cream the Rabbit plushie. I've had this for uh, over 10 years now, I do believe. This is an old uh, Great Easter Entertainment plushie of her. As you can see, it's been it's been modified slightly so her ears can flap around. She is missing her blue ribbon right here, but otherwise, uh, pretty I guess in pretty good condition, except for this little uh, incision right here, where some of the uh, fluff can be shown. So that's my only cream the rabbit plushie. Uh, I'll place her right. Right between Rouge and Blaze. So let's get on to some other plushies that I only have one of. Now moving on to more plushies I only have one plushie of. And this one is going to be in a group. So, first one here is a Jet the Hawk plushie. I think he made his debut in episode 54. Along with another plushie I'm going to show later on. But this is a great, great Eastern Entertainment uh, release. It's a newer release of it. So, I'm going to place Jet down somewhere and move on to the next one. And the next one in the Babylon Rogues group is Storm the Albatross. One of the biggest Sonic plushies I have as of right now. As you can see, he doesn't even fit the screen. He is another member of the Babylon Rogues. Treasure Hunters and stuff. So I'm gonna move on to the last of the Babylon Rogues and move on to the next group. And the last of the Babylon Rogues is Wave the Swallow. 
uh, in my Sonic Plus Adventure series. She made her debut in episode 10, which was my first episode of 2019. Recently turned five years old recently. So let's move on to the next set of plushies. And I almost forgot about this. This is another uh, plushie I have multiple of. It's another uh, duo one, like with Amy and Knuckles and, Sh and Shadow. So we have a Dr. Robotnik plushie that I used in my Sonic Plus Adventure series from episode 5 to episode 51. In episode 52, he was replaced by a new uh, plushie. It's an Eggman right here, right next to Sonic. Please get this egghead away from me. I will. And then, the last Eggman plushie I have is this Great Eastern Entertainment Dr. Eggman plushie. I think this is a newer release of him. Uh, it has to be. It has a tag where it shows the day it's manufactured, but this is a newer release. And he's more shaped like an egg than Robotnik right there. So, yep, that's Eggman. Now, moving on to some more groups. And the last group I have is Team Chaotix. So, we're going to start with Vector the Crocodile. This is a Tomy plushie of him that I use in my Sonic Plush Adventure series. I've had this plushie, I'm guessing, since 2018, I guess. Uh, I might be mistaken, but he, this, uh, this plushie made its plush video debut in episode 14 of Sonic Plush Adventures. So that's... Vector, moving on, one of my most recent ads is SBO the Chameleon. Got this uh, Christmas 2023. Recently made its debut in episode 82 of my Sonic Plus series. So he looks pretty cool. So, the last of the Chaotix, this plushie made its debut in, in I think, Plans and New Allies, which is right after a major uh, project. And it's Charmy the Bee. He made his, I think he made his debut in episode 46 of my Sonic Plus series. This is a, a great Eastern Entertainment release, as well as SBO. You might have forgotten to know that. Note that. Here's a production date. Same time frame as the Amy Rose Puffy. So that's Team Chaotix. Now let's move on to Superforms. Now moving on to Superforms. Only have two plushies of this, but it's two separate characters. So, let's start with the oldest Great Eastern Entertainment plushie I have, and it is Supersonic. This plushie technically made its debut in Episode 8. Uh, Sonic going super without the emeralds didn't really make any sense. So, I got this in 2015. I do have a review on this, like, five, like eight, eight, nine years ago. So, looks pretty nice. And the last super form I have is Super Shadow. It looks uh, a bit odd. And you're probably wondering why this isn't a Great Eastern Entertainment release of him, obviously. This is a Chinese knockoff of Super Shadow. I look hideous. What has happened to me? That's probably what he's saying to himself right now. Yeah. <laughs> I might get a actual Great Eastern Entertainment release of him. This, this the whole plushie is made of just one specific fabric, unlike the GE plushies where the eyes are a different type of material. This is made of just, uh, just I guess silk or whatever it's called. So yeah, that's the Chinese knockoff Super Shadow. Uh, so let's move on to the final plushie I'm going to show off in this video. And the last plush I'm going to be showing off is Metal Sonic. He hasn't appeared in a Sonic Plush Adventures video in a while. Kind of felt like the ep episodes including Metal Sonic as the uh, boss battle were getting repetitive. So I put a halt to those for the time being. Let me know in the comments if you want to see another uh, Metal Sonic episode where he was battling Sonic. So, this is a, that's a Tomy plushie of him by the way. So, that is the entirety of my Sonic Plush collection. It's larger than I expected it to be. So, that, that ends the video. Subscribe for more Plush videos, uh, skits, like Brandon Media Shorts, and other Plush content, like my Super Mario Plush series. 
And also go subscribe to my other uh, channels, which are my motorsport channel and my voice acting channel. And also go subscribe to Super Tales 22, my brother. Link is in the description below if you want to subscribe. So that'll do it. I'll make sure to subscribe to this channel and push the notification bell so you don't miss any content that I upload. New uploads every Friday, by the way. Some, sometimes occasionally on the weekends, we'll see. Anyways, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. See you later.